Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm sorry that I'm not in this picture, but I just got home from a rather long day for me and I'm a bit tired, but I wanted to do this little haul on some products that I purchased recently. So let me make some room here. Hopefully I can do this one-handed. I finally broke down and ordered myself a Clarisonic Mia. This is the Mia 2. And I ordered it from QVC in a package that came with some skincare. I really love the pattern on this. It is a leopard, black, white, and gray. And then it came with the Olay Hendrickson Truth Serum. And you really can't see that writing. I'm sorry. Um, this is um, a product that is infused or it has vitamin C in it, which is supposed to be very good for skin, especially as uh, we all age. And then it also came with this fresh soy face cleanser for all skin types. And this says that it is safe to clean or gently cleanses your face and eyes. And I really like this so far. Um, I love the light cucumber scent that it has and I'm enjoying it a lot. So I've only had this a couple days, but I thought that I would share it with you anyway. Here is a um, Olay Age Defining um, Eye Gel uh, for under the eyes and you can use it on the lids. I was looking for a new eye cream because the ones that I have been using either didn't work or stung my skin, they were too drying, they just didn't work. So I thought I'd try this and so far it's working out good. I'm not going to review it just yet because I need to give it a little bit longer. But that is something recently purchased. I have been having some problems with my eyelashes falling out and don't be, you know, alarmed. Uh, it happens sometimes with systemic lupus where you have hair loss and I've lost hair on the top of my head but the losing eyelashes is sort of new and I've lost quite a few on my right eye excuse me, my left eye, and so I thought I would buy some lashes that weren't overly dramatic. These are the Ardell, and even though they say glamour, they are the 112s. They're not that bad, and I like that they have a nice thin strip here. When they have the thin strips, it's just easier for me to put on. Now these are the Kiss, and they come in a two-pack, and as you can see, they are the 03, and I got the idea to purchase this from Melissa MLPHS, and I will put anyone's link down below that I speak of when I talk about them in my videos, and if I do not, please ask me, and I will uh, attach it. This comes with a little, like, tweezer thing to help put the lashes on, and um, I have glue already, but um, that I bought before, so I won't show that. I ordered from a company that I heard about through Wheaton Beauty, and she is just the guru for natural products, paraben-free, and there's the other long chemical word that she uses a lot. Uh, she's a great lady. I love that she loves bold colors and loves to experiment. She's just awesome. So I thought that I would order some pumpkin and poppy um, vegan cosmetics. Now I'm not a vegan, but I do, you know, enjoy trying different products. And if something is as natural as it can be, I think that's great. Now this is a pigment that is called Evil Eye and as you can see it is an orange color. It is so pretty in person and I cannot wait to start experimenting with that. This here, I hope I can open it, there we go, is called Lock Bear and it is a cream shadow but it can be used for shadow, for contour, for lip color. Oh, for just about anything that you can think of and it has a mirror that I'm trying to hide there so it doesn't blind you. I won't do a swatch on this because it's too hard holding the camera here but I just love this when she showed it on her channel um, that's uh, Wheaton Beauty and I had to try it myself so those are two products from uh, Pumpkin and Poppy and this um, these two things are from a line that the creator, sorry I keep playing with that, 
she named her products off of characters or things in the ring as in the Lord of the Rings series so that was pretty interesting to me now Walgreens is having a sale <laughs> on their wet and wild stuff so I went a little crazy because I honestly have never really tried their products very much so I wanted to give them a good try I've purchased things before and have given them to my mom and with this sale I thought I would take advantage of it and buy some things that I thought were pretty this is the blush and it's the as you can see <laughs> it's called Heather Silk and it's a really pretty color I, I, I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot and I hear that their blushes are highly pigmented this is another blush and it is called mellow wine and I wish you could see the color better but it's sort of hard with this lighting but I wanted just to share this stuff so I can start using it this is the um, trio and it, this is in the color or actually it's called silent treatment now the top color here looks very pale sort of like a brulee but it's more of a champagne color the middle color is a dark black so really it's like a light black if that makes sense and the bottom even though it looks very light it is a um, sort of a mauvey purple so I'm really looking forward to using that this is the famous famous I should say walking on eggshells I think everybody and their mother <laughs> has this here on YouTube so I thought I would give that a try and then this is a real pretty one to me I just kind of reached out to me it's don't steal my thunder this is a beautiful silvery white and then you have a sparkly black and a beautiful gray I think this all together these will create a really nice look and you can wear either one of these by themselves too or you could just use this black for a liner very pretty and then I got two of the um four pans uh, excuse me eight pans this is the comfort zone and a lot of people have this so i thought i would try it i actually purchased this one oh last year sometime and for some reason i was trying to get rid of some of my things to make room for new things and i gave this one to my mom so i thought i would go back and purchase one for myself and keep it <laughs> and excuse me but I had to scratch my nose there okay um, this is one of their limited edition palettes and they actually had the other two where I went and like a fool I didn't purchase them so I'm hoping that I can get back there sometime and they'll still be there this is the um, matte palette for this year and they named it drinking a glass of shine which is sort of an unusual name to me for a matte palette, but we shall see. I like the way they have the neutral colors here, and then on the left they have these real bold colors. I like the combination of all of those, and um, I'm really um, looking forward to trying that. So these were the things that I purchased recently and ordered and wanted to share with you. I hope that you enjoyed this little impromptu um, haul video and that you all are doing well um, I will see you soon take care of yourself and as always if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I will get back to you take care of yourselves bye bye